Now, <clears throat> let's keep going. He says, I'll read 7 again. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Now, what's he talking about? Well, you have to go back to verse 6. Okay? He's talking about the pestilence, sickness, disease, illnesses, and destruction. Okay? Then he says in verse 8, Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, your habitation. You live there. See, things are changing. They're not the same they used to be. Used to, you could come to church, hear a sermon, bring, pick, you know, find your Bible 30 minutes before you leave the house because you hadn't picked it up since last Sunday. You could get away with that. No more. There's a shaking. There's a, what well, an old term would be a winnowing. A winnowing is when they would take the wheat, throw it in the air, and separate it from the chaff. And that's what's happening right now. You've got to decide you're going to be wheat. <clears throat> he says, Because you've made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. And you have to choose to believe every one of these. It's not a one time, yep, believe it, done, nope. You got to go through every, you got to read every bit of the contract, all the fine print, and decide to agree and sign off. You ought to take your pen and every verse, just sign your initials, just like you would do a contract. <clears throat> he says, No evil shall befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in, your, in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Now you do recognize this is exactly what Satan tried to tempt Jesus with. Try to convince him to commit suicide. Verse 13, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder. So what is this? This is an Old Testament, Luke 10, 19. What we just read before. That you'll tread upon serpents and scorpions. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. And what is that? That's the first commandment Jesus gave us. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, and strength. Because you set your love upon him, he will deliver you. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Now, you ought to be reading that, quoting that, believing that, standing on that every day. The time is no longer when you can depend on other people's faith to get you through things. I mean, just this week, and I don't usually bring these things up like this, but just this week, <clears throat> we saw Lisa Marie Presley. Two days before, everything looks normal. Goes home, her maid, or however you want to call it, housekeeper, finds her dead in her bedroom. Nobody around, nobody there to, to do things. For her. Nobody there to say in the name of Jesus. Nobody there to lay hands on her. They, they did some CPR, got a little bit of help there, but then she died. People that, listen, I'm trying, I'm trying to be just as, I'm trying to love you as much as I can and be as open as I can, and I'm not trying to be harsh on you, but listen, you cannot rely on the fact or the hope <clears throat> that whenever something happens, you're going to dial my number and get to me. You can't count on that. Not that I won't be available, but your phone may not be near you. We don't know where she fell over at, but she obviously couldn't call for help. 
It could be so fast you don't have time, and it may be a while before anybody finds you because you're not always with somebody. You've got to be able to stand, and number one, if it happens to you, you've got to say, no. No, you don't in Jesus' name. You've got to be able to stand, and you've got to be able to do it in faith because your faith will work for you. And even better than that, that's, that's step one. But if it doesn't happen soon and it gives you more time, then get strong where it doesn't happen. And that's called divine health, not just divine healing. You've got to believe. Now, if you can get to somebody that, that can help you, wonderful. But you cannot rely on that. You've got to be able to stand for yourself and not just for yourself, but for your family. 